Every narcissistic and codependent relationship seems to have a few things in common. One, a sense by at least one partner, I have to make this relationship work. And even though I know it's supposed to be both of us working to make it work, somehow I've taken on that responsibility by myself. And instead of holding them accountable, I make excuses for them, even though I hate the way they treat me. People in codependent relationships have a tendency to think, if I could just say the right words, then maybe they would understand me. If I could just love them enough, maybe they would treat me right. If I prioritize them, they will eventually care about my needs. Two, we are always fighting for the idea of what a relationship could be with this person instead of being honest with ourselves about reality. And even if someone could get us to admit that the relationship is broken, we would once again take responsibility onto ourselves and think, yeah, but if I could just... But you have to see that it's a trap. It's a never-ending cycle because they aren't capable of loving you. They aren't going to prioritize you long-term. They can't because that would mean loving something more than they love themselves. Sure, you're going to have good days here and there, but those just lull you into a false sense of security. They just keep the embers of your hope fire hot enough to convince you to stay just a little bit longer. Three, these relationships always, always lack boundaries. You're sacrificing even though you feel neglected. You feel like you've become responsible for the success of this relationship, a job no one person is supposed to take on. You've committed yourself to this relationship, and if it fails, that means in your head that you think you're a failure. And so many of these relationships are saturated in shame and low self-worth. Remember what Brene Brown said? Guilt is, I did something bad, but shame is, I'm bad. And listen, I'm just going to tell you, shame destroys everything. If you don't believe you're lovable and worthy of respect and kindness baseline, you are not going to even bat an eye when someone you're dating doesn't show you those things either. Because subconsciously, you're going to think, why would they? No one else in my life has. But that shame always leads to you only abandoning your needs, wants, and desires. It leads to you not even fully realizing that you're being mistreated because if you don't love and respect yourself, you won't be able to hold someone else accountable for not doing those things either. And this isn't about victim blaming. I know how tough it can be to leave these relationships. I know how scary it can be to be alone. But I'm just here to remind you, if you get stuck in the wrong relationships, you will feel alone regardless, won't you? So let me just remind all of us, loving relationships aren't controlling or demeaning or contemptuous. There isn't a power struggle or a feeling of superiority. No, in loving relationships, there's mutual respect and kindness and consideration and warmth. Not always, not perfectly, but intentionally and consistently. If you feel like you have to walk on eggshells, that's a problem. If you feel like you're the only one pulling the weight in this relationship, that's a problem. If one person refuses to take accountability for the mistakes and hurts that they've caused, that's a problem. If they tell you things would just be fine if it wasn't for you, that's a problem. And if they're in any way aggressive towards you, that's a problem. And we can ignore those problems. Lots of people do. But I care too much about you not to warn you of the disastrous consequences that will happen to you and your future kids if you continue in unhealthy relationships. I know it's hard to leave abusive relationships. I know it's hard to work on your shame and increase your self-worth and self-compassion and self-respect and understand what you truly deserve. I know it's hard to be alone sometimes and work on the relationship we have with ourselves, but everything worthwhile in life is hard sometimes. And the relationship you want and deserve is out there. But even if you met the right person for you, you wouldn't be the right person for them because you haven't done the necessary work in yourself yet. Haley Page McGee says that sometimes when we finally set healthy boundaries, our relationships will fall apart because the only thing that was holding them up was you disregarding yourself.